Okay, I'm going to do a right quick video today showing uh, how to um, get the dihedral angles from a SketchUp file. SketchUp is free, so it's handy for me, uh, for people who don't uh, draw. And if they need, if I send them drawings in SketchUp, they can always open them in the SketchUp free version. This is to show you how to get the dihedral angles, because that seems to be the biggest problem that people struggle with. We'll start with Tools, select the Protractor. Just do this really carefully and you'll be fine. The protractor is like this. It's It will set itself automatically to flat surfaces. But what we, what we want to do is find the angle between these two panels. So we click and hold the click button. Don't release it. Slide it up. You can go middle or end. Just let's go right to the end and you'll see that it snaps to the end. And then release that gives you you can see the little dotted line as we go around and you'll see the angle in the bottom right hand corner so we need to then click if we if we uh, we've clicked on this line so that's acting as an axle we click here and be sure to go underneath before you click again rather than over the top you'll notice the difference it's 192.6 over the top it's always over 180 if you measure over the top but if you measure underneath swing it underneath click and then look down in the bottom right corner and that will tell you what that angle the dihedral angle is let's do it one more time for a different one you can do it from any angle doesn't matter you don't have to set up or anything we hover our protractor you'll see that it leaves a dotted line as well hover the protractor click and hold slide till it snaps to the to the point so now we're going to measure the angle between this green panel and the red one so we click on the green one go underneath click on this one uh, and it's it's actually gone over the top by accident and it's given us 192.6 let's try that again click here you can to be honest you could probably change the angle a wee bit Tools protractor. There we go. We still selected this axle. Click here. Go underneath. 167.4 down in the bottom corner here. Uh, from there, the, this is the equation that you need. Dihedral angle. What you just measured. Divide by two. So half the diagonal angle, subtract from 90 to get the bevel angle. That's it. So now uh, from any drone, you should be able to um, get any dihedral angle or bevel angle that you need. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.